A team of Korean researchers has taken the development of a new energy generating technology to the next level. Scientists have said that energy that goes to waste from heat and vibration falls short of practical use. But now there may be a way to amplify the ways that energy generate power. Our Yoon Jin has the details. When a car engine is started, there is vibration on the hood of the car, as well as rise in its surface temperature, up to 60 degrees Celsius. This is where scientists have discovered wasted energy and are now looking to develop technology to harvest such energy that goes to waste. Until recently, energy from the vibrations and the heat were measured separately and not deemed efficient enough to be a power source. But a team of Korean researchers have now succeeded in designing a hybrid energy harvester that combines piezoelectricity and thermoelectricity, resulting in a higher final power generation. Attaching a brass plate onto the surface of the heated surface increases available thermoelectricity. The brass cantilever creates additional energy as its unattached end vibrates, which is the piezoelectricity. And the resulting amplified energy from both the heat and vibration is nearly twofold. The energy is not simply 1 plus 1 equals 2, it's actually lower. But when we build an integrated system, the combination of the thermal and piezoelectric energy doubles its output. The electrical energy produced simply from the hood of a running car is enough to operate the location tracking sensor of a smartphone GPS. The significance in the hybrid energy harvester that we've developed is that electric energy can be converted from energy that otherwise goes to waste in our daily lives. This is the first successful hybrid energy harvest, where gathered waste energy from heat and vibration was able to successfully charge wireless electronics like a smartphone. Though still in its development stage, the team of South Korean researchers have taken the discovery to the next level as introduced in the International Scientific Journal Energy Conservation and Management. Yeon Jin, Arirang News.